This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the projectile speed in the first person uh, example shooter here. And this is actually something that's really easy to do, and I want to show you how to do it. So open up your content drawer, make your way to the blueprints here, and open the first person projectile here, okay? We now have something that looks like this, and let's go ahead and let's click on the projectile here, and in this projectile, not anything else here, but in this projectile, we have the initial speed and the max speed. And you can pretty much set this to whatever you want, right? So the current is 3,000. You can maybe make this 10,000. And you'll notice that there's an initial speed and a max speed. Well, the initial speed is what it comes out at the initial speed, and the max speed is, of course, how fast it can go. Some projectiles, like, for example, a rocket might have a slow initial speed and then a higher max speed. It's up to you what you want to do. There's a lot of different options here. You can also change the gravity if you wish. So if we go ahead and play that here, you'll see that it's much better. And you'll also notice that the, since the speed is bigger and well, then the current version, the, the bounciness will also uh, change as well because it is after all a physics object, just like if you were to have a ball here. And of course, just for fun, you can go and change the gravity here and it'll go wherever it wants here, or you can change the gravity strength to 20. Let's see what that does. Right, you can see that it, it, it's kind of cool. Anyway, nevertheless, let's just change that back to one here. Okay, so now that we have uh, to do that here, that's step one. Step two is what happens if you want to change this to uh, programmatically? Well, this is actually pretty easy to do. So let's hop back into our event graph here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in our projectile here. And actually, we might uh, do the projectile here. And we can't really see it. But if we move this over here, we have on component activated. So let's go ahead and add that in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in uh, the projectile here, pushing the control to get it here. And we're going to, uh, if I just type in projectile uh, speed, we can set the initial speed. Okay. And we can set it to whatever we want here. But before we do that, let's go ahead and let's drag it out here speed and then if we type in max speed you can kind of do that here hook it up here now you'll notice that if you want to do these to the same number there's a better way of doing that and that is to add in a variable so let's go ahead and add in a variable here and we'll call this project tile speed and it's already a float it usually comes out as a boolean first but it's uh you want to make it a float because if you look at this this is a float that's a float so we can just simply Hook that up into here and here. Now, you also have to compile it because if you don't compile it, you can't set it here. Right now, it's set to zero. So if we set that to, I don't know, 20,000, you can kind of go ahead and you can see that here. And sure enough, it does indeed work. So you can actually set that to whatever you want here. Now, this is really good because let's say you have a game where, you know, for example, the, the user gets a power up or something, you can set that projectile speed. Um, and let's actually spell that right. Speed, just like that here. And then you can <laughs> you can see that here, uh, it, it does it here. Now, of course, for example, all of those items that you saw in the previous window are are available You could, uh, to, to change here. So you can set uh, or get the gravity scale. Now, what's the difference between set and get? Well, setting it means you're going to uh, change it. Getting it means you're going to, um, if you need to access that. So, for example, if we wanted to print the, the projectile speed, we could, um, if we type in speed, we could say get initial speed, and it's going to convert here, because obviously a float and a string are not the same thing, but nevertheless, you can see that it does show it up top here. All right, so that's a fairly simple and easy tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. Please be sure to like and subscribe because this channel is not monetized right now and help us get to 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers. Thank you very much and I'll see you in another video.